Now a fully inclusive and accessible privately funded public park in Winchester. Yeah, joining us now with details on Legacy Greenscapes is Executive Director Deborah Jackson and Program Coordinator Hope Brecker. Thank you two for coming in today. Thank you. Thanks All right. for having us. Tell us about the park. Well, uh, Legacy Grove Park, it's a 30 acre, as you said, fully accessible park right there in the center of Winchester. And we were talking about where it's located. Um, it's located on the former site of the community hospital off of Lexington Avenue. So if you take Winchester Road out of Lexington, you'll hit it. Um, again, it's 30 acres. It includes uh, a playground area, dog parks, um, and a nature trail. Um, and you know, fully available from dusk till dawn to the public. You know, and I live in Winchester, and mm -hmm. I've been down there many times, and you all got this this turf hill yes. that even the adults can get on and <laughs> yeah. slide down, yeah. for yeah. example. Have you heard right? yourself yet? Uh, no, oh, no, that's good. But I've gone tumbling. <laughs> but it's a lot of fun, fun for all ages and all types, right? It is, and we have a lot of families that go out. We have a lot of adults that play at the park, so you're not alone. Okay, I'm good, sure okay. You saw <laughs> um, and we do, it, and, um, you know, it's for all abilities. I think what's really fantastic about it is any child can go and play regardless of their abilities. There's something to do and most of the things to do. We have sensory um, implements that children with sensory needs can enjoy, lots of music, lots of uh, tactile um, play. So there's just something for everyone there. And, and you all are privately funded. I mean, it's open to the public. Anyone can come, but you accept donations. Tell us about that. Well, Legacy Greenscapes, we're the nonprofit. Yeah. Um, and we run, we operate and maintain the park. So we raise money. Um, we're not funded by city or county dollars or tax dollars. And so we raise main money throughout the year. Um, we're getting ready to participate in the Good Giving Challenge. It starts November 29th. We're one of two, over 200 nonprofits in central Kentucky that are participating. Um, and we do the same. So we raise money every year to fund all of the free programs. Everything we do there is free to the public, and we raise money for that. And back in the warmer months, you had a lot more going on, right? And, and you hope to do that again, too, right? Oh, yeah. We uh, often, our programs are around the season, so we usually launch off with Earth Day, which, because we're a nonprofit, we have partners that help us create awesome events. So we had about 14 partners in Earth Day, a few hundred people, hands-on um, activities. We also have environmental education um, for young people throughout the summer. Um, and then we actually extended that into the fall with the STEM programming uh, called Discovery Days. And then, of course, the longest day of play, which is the longest day of the year, um, where we have different things throughout the day to get people outside to play. How did the idea for the park come about? Obviously, you've got, used to be a hospital out at that site. Suddenly, you've got mm -hmm. this area available. How did that come about? It was actually through community conversations. Um, the, there was a lot of uh, very intentional, um, very specific conversations surrounding that space. It was 30 acres. It's prime location. Mm -hmm. As you know, it's between two beautiful neighborhoods. Um, so the question was what to do with it, and they asked the community. It took, I think it was six months to a year of conversations about what to do with that space. And when it came down to it, the community really wanted to keep it available for everybody. Um, we needed some green space in that area. Um, we knew that we wanted, um, the community wanted to keep it focused on health and wellness. And so a park just became part of the natural conversation um, around it. And then the community and the youth participated in designing it overall. So oh. it really is the community's park. That's great. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. I didn't realize the youth had been part of that. There is. There was a youth board that helped with the planning and the design, especially of the, um, the adventure park yeah. area where mm -hmm. the kids play. And some of those kids who were middle school, high schoolers have come back and they play at the park, but now they're grown up. They're grown so up, some of them have their own kids advocates and stuff. Yeah. of the park, right, yeah. So, awesome. they, I mean, it was really, truly one of the most thoughtful projects I think I've ever been involved with. Cool. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Well, thank you all for coming and talk to us about it and thank highlighting you. that. Thank you so much. Come out and visit. We will. Thank you.